on February 6, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission uh, introduced strict rules uh, for people involved in providing liquidity. These rules cover not only federal securities laws, but also to impact cryptocurrency and decentralized finance. Uh, the rule, which was proposed in March 2022, uh, finally got the green light from the SEC after two years with a three to two majority vote during a meeting on Tuesday. Uh, the approved 247 page rule will impact those dealing with crypto assets defined as securities or government securities, except for those with less than $50 million in assets. It also impacts the decentralized finance DeFi sector as outlined in the rule. Well, according to the rule, individual trading in crypto asset securities within the DeFi market must register as a dealer or government securities dealer if their activities meet the criteria of being part of a regular business. This includes regularly buying and selling crypto assets and providing liquidity to others as outlined in the qualitative standard. Uh, despite the approval, some commenters argue that uh, the rule is unfair for DeFi products citing their decentralized nature without a central controlling body functioning solely as uh, software in response to the SEC's decision. Uh, the DeFi Education Fund strongly criticized the move, calling it misguided and unworkable. Uh, and end our response makes clear this approach is wrong, misguided and unnecessary. We hope the SEC will reconsider this rulemaking and at the very least fully examine the potential effects of its current proposal. The next side of you, sorry, and the audience of CEO Miller, White House Levine, believes the SEC failed to consider the practical difficulties DeFi entities face, suggesting the rules are unfriendly to innovation. Uh, Cody Carbone, Vice President of Policy for the Chamber of Digital Commerce, uh, shared similar sentiments, uh, criticizing the SEC for its ongoing unfriendliness towards the digital asset industry. Uh, he stated that the SEC did not consider uh, the industry's uh, viewpoint. Uh, SEC Chair Gary Gensler uh, defended the regulatory changes, highlighting the $50 million exception and the importance of protecting investors in both crypto and non-crypto spaces, and he argued that these rules align with Congress's uh, uh, intentions uh, for fair competition. Um, in, uh, in, uh, during the meeting, uh, uh, Republican Commissioner Hester Peirce, one of the two votes against the rules, uh, raised questions about the inclusion of automated market makers AMNs in the rules. Uh, asked whether AMNs, often considered as software protocols, should register as dealers. The SEC responded saying that AMNs are more than just software. However, Pierce expressed concerns about transparency and market participants' understanding of SEC rules. The final rules will come into effect 60 days after being published in the Federal Register with a one-year compliance period. As the crypto industry gears up, for increased regulatory attention. The full impact of these SEC rules remains uncertain in decentralized finance.